This is Battle of the Bottles, a show where the three of us will compete to see who can hunt the best whiskey. As always, we will be judging our whiskey on taste, uniqueness, and backstory. Then the winner will be declared the Golden Retriever and get to take all three bottles of whiskey home. This week, we're doing 70 and under. 70 and under. All in, baby. So uh, there's no crying, guys. All right. You but got, you got the ones. <laughs> you didn't open it very well. There's no crying. Oh my God. Of course. Infinite project. Wow. I'm excited. Oh, oh. All right. Barrelcraft Spirits. So this is a cool company where they. Uh, source all their product, but they don't do it from one company. They do it from like MGP, um, I think some Dickel, uh, Jim Beam, I'm pretty sure I've tasted in there. Um, and then they actually get the barrels and then they sometimes do fun aging with the whiskey, where they'll age it in their own barrels and their own warehouses and they'll blend them. This one particularly is the Infinite Barrel Project. They pretty much have this huge vat and they'll drop in random blends of whiskey up to one barrel and then they'll mix it all and they'll take a barrel out and there's already a huge blend. So they're pretty much always adding new whiskeys to it, and then they're taking the whiskey out to complete the product. And this has been going on, let me see what batch this is, I don't know if it says. It doesn't say the batch, but I know it's been going on for years. And this is 125 proof American whiskey. So that's everything about that. So they, this has like an interesting, like underlying note to it that I couldn't put my finger on. So far, the most I've gotten is like, I think like paper. On, on the nose, I got like a, I don't know, like some kind of sweetness, like toasted marshmallow, but then yeah. with like rubbing alcohol poured on top. It was kind of ethanol -y. So you have a lot of ethanol, but yeah. Yeah, but then even on the palate, it's like kind of mm -hmm. ethanol -y too. But it's not, I, I don't, I, I do like it. It's I a very, think, very toasted oak kind of flavor. Yeah, there we go. Mm -hmm. You said it didn't smell good. I thought it actually kind of smelled sweet. Mm -hmm. Like a hint of sweetness, but mm -hmm. I didn't find no, it like overpowering. I'm getting overpowering on ethanol. I just, I don't know, just, I mean, maybe just me. Maybe I might have stuck my nose too far deep into that side. <laughs> Go for the second sip, and I got a like buttery, kind of like a good viscosity on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the second sip is better. I just need my second sip. It's not gonna be. A, it's not gonna be as good as mine, but uh, it, but I mean, it's, I need to win one. You know, for for Paul's. <laughs> For Paul, it's pretty good. Honestly, just look, guys, let me win. I, I, I won't even keep the bottles. You guys can just have them. <laughs> I'm gonna take the bottle back. I just really, I need it for my self confidence. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you won one. I can't believe he hasn't won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. yeah. yeah. It's um, yeah a good amount of rice spice on that finish. Mm -hmm. Kind of hits you at the end. But it's also a lot of ethanol with it as well, though. So it kind of bites at the end. Mm -hmm. It yeah. is a little citrusy in the beginning, too. Mm -hmm. Got that. I'll look for it. Corn. Corn paper. Vanilla and want some caramel. It, yeah, yeah, your favorite, your favorite tasting notes. <laughs> it's good. We'll see what I think. I've never heard of the one I picked, so it's, it could be very possible that mine is garbage. Yeah, I don't know. Mine can be really good, really bad, or in, in the middle, which is all the possibilities. <laughs> wow, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a really great good. explanation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So this is a bottle I'm hoping will regain my honor and uh, give me some credibility in the whiskey community of uh, my two friends who are bozo sitting next to me. Wow! My bottle was, and is, and forever will be. I'm scared. Ooh! Yeah. Wilderness Trail. <laughs> Barrel Proof. Rye. Wilderness Trail was a company that was started by two friends who basically just wanted to get out of doing the mediocre and wanted to get into um, making whiskey, basically. So it's like a classic whiskey making story. However, this particular bottle I found really interesting because uh, when they first started making the Barrel Proof Rye, they would range all the way from 100 proof to 120 proof. And so I got, I happened to got a, uh, get a bottle that is 120 proof. Mm -hmm. And so um, I 
ended up going online and looking up and trying to find 120 proof. And I couldn't find like 120 proof sold anywhere. Most of the ones that I found were like 113, 100 uh, something proof. Uh, I just thought it was interesting that the, they don't even do that anymore. So now it only varies from 100 to 105. Right. Because it, it was just the first few years where the proof was a, a huge gap between what it would come out as. What do you guys get on the nose? I, I, had, I, I had trouble getting anything on the nose. <laughs> it's like a, a caramelly menthol like bubble okay. that's, good... that's what I get on the palate as well. When I, as soon as on I the taste... palate, that's exactly what I get. Yeah. Like a little bit of menthol, you definitely a little get bit taste of maple. Dry. Uh, maple on the nose a little bit. I don't know what I'm okay. Something's wrong. With I that. see the maple. Yeah, it kind of reminds yeah. me a little bit of uh, some of the other ryes that we've tasted as far as uh, the, that... the sweeter ryes. Yeah, that rye flavor is very pronounced on this one. It's good, it's full flavor. That's why like, one thing that disappoints me about it though is that it's not a long finish. Mm, which you still love me all the time though, but I still hang out with you. That opened up really nice. It reminds me of uh, now. Angels and Superman. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh! You're gonna mess up your palate. <laughs> that was the whole point of waiting for <laughs> <laughs> In this box, it's bourbon. Say, what's in this box? What's in this box? What's in the box? I, I think you're supposed to say it's bourbon. bourbon. Oh, <laughs> oh, I didn't catch on to that. What's in this box? Uh, it's it? bourbon. Wow, I missed the most soon. Is it bourbon or American whiskey? I think, I'm pretty sure it's yeah, bourbon. Because that would be awkward. That would be really awkward. Let me see. It's bourbon. It's bourbon. <laughs> it's bourbon. Reveal the bottle. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I didn't know if you guys had it. Or I've heard of it. So I'm excited. I actually don't remember how good it is. So this whiskey was created by Neil Giraldo, and basically when he was a kid or younger, I don't know if he was a kid at the time, but he basically realized that if he could learn to play three chords on the guitar, that he could have a career in music. So that's why it's called three chord. And uh, the three chords are something blues. I don't remember. Roots of the Blues or something like that. Josh, is that right? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Josh. All right, so that's that. And so he, basically the way they, they do all their whiskeys is that, or I'll, I'll just say how they do this one. Uh, the mash is from, their mash bill is from Kentucky and Tennessee. And it's 84% corn, 8% rye, 8% malt and barley. And the cool thing that they do is they do pyrolysis, which is basically what they do to their barrels. So pyrolysis in like the science world is basically decomposing compounds through heat. And that's basically what they do to their barrels. They heat them up to a certain temperature to, to bring out certain flavors. After they do that, they always start aging their whiskeys. And they do, um, they do that in Michigan for this specific one. And they do rhythmic disruption to the because basically when he was like what I've seen with his friends and he was thinking, I wonder if like like the rhythm and the waves of like you know vibrations could make a difference to the actual barrel aging process. So they, they do some kind of rhythmic disruption to the barrel um, in order to try to like bring out some like certain flavors to it. And so what Paul said actually as he saw this bottle that I didn't know. So obviously over here it's aged 12 years. And they said that, I mean, from what I read is that they age at minimum 12 years and Paul told me that 90% of it is actually a 15 year and only 10% is a 12 year. So basically we're drinking a, a 15 year age whiskey, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So what, I, I haven't touched it at all. What do you guys think? Uh, it's woody, right? Woody, yeah. um, peanut, like peanutty. Not peanut yeah, butter, but more like peanuts. Yeah. The actual nut. Like Reminds I, definitely get, I definitely get the nuttiness on the nose and the oakiness. Reminds me of Jim, Jim Beam product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, uh, kind of like their flavor, but uh, not as forward with you know, Jimmy and Apple on my favorite. I wonder if they, because they source, I wonder yeah, if they- Yeah, that actually a really good one. Really they good. may have sourced it from- That's a very good point. They could have. The Jimmy Beam distillery. The Jim Beam Apple, you can really taste the apple. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's very, like a syrupy apple. Oh yeah, we did taste it. Oh, I like that. Yeah, wow. I forgot about that. So- it's definitely nutty, but there's a lot of fruitiness to it. Mm -hmm. I love, I love how when it's Davis bottle, his reaction. To yeah. Wow. Wow. This one is the best out of the three. I'll tell you this that. Is amazing. Wow, you guys. Wow. I say wow. Are you tasting the same stuff I'm tasting? Because <laughs> so I think we got a winner here, huh? What do you guys think? I think we got a winner. 
Yeah. Uh, this my intro obviously to this would be a lot cooler if I played the guy's song, there, but I couldn't for copyright oh, issues. Yeah. But it, it got, kind of goes something like this. You can't do that either. No, I'm just kidding. You're allowed to do that. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna retry all of them and um, give my decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we are we are the judges panel. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and, and, and we can always ask Josh if we don't know. Yeah. He's a good guy. Josh, what do you think? Who won? Cheers. Oh, Cheers, brother! Wow, what an insightful thought. Yeah, really like, insightful. Josh. Just simplify it, guys. Just, yeah. just cheer. Just, just cheers. cheers. Like, okay. there doesn't need to be a winner. Just They're all cheers. good. Forget about. Take a lesson, Jacob. Oh okay, yeah, take a lesson. Like that was so deep. So you choose which one you want. Okay, I want to actually have mine again because it would suck if I didn't win my own bottle. So. Paul's was good, but you know, Paul, he's a very mediocre kind of guy, and this was a very mediocre kind of Paul. So if that one was that, then this one would be... Boy, I hope I win one. I think you put all three factors in my more today. Why are you laughing? You shouldn't see this afterwards. All right, that's it, I'm done. Well, guys. The votes are in. Josh, what's on? Will you give us the results? Mr. Paul, 6.05. <laughs> oh! Jacob, what wow. is that? That had to do with Jacob. I, swear. Jacob. I don't that think so. I really don't think so. I gave it pretty good ratings. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll take it. Gagor. Okay. Who are you? Okay. 7.9. I thought it was a 9. Out of what? Out of 10. Out of 10? Wow. Point nine out of 10. Does that mean I already lost? Wait, wait, this might be close. I don't know what David does. <laughs> David Goliath. Uh, no, 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 no. 8.7. Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, no! Are you kidding me? You have $10. Dollars. Baggy, yeah. Oh, baggy, yeah. But, uh, okay, thank you guys for watching. Thank, thank you for coming. We're going to see you again next week when we do. $80 and under. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna go broke. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll take this Hit the back. like button. Subscribe and like. We're gonna take the balls. Hey. Run! Jacob, you go that way. <laughs> <laughs>